Hi guys, Phil Radford here again, another really quick tutorial. A friend of mine uh, the other day mentioned to me that she gets flickering when rendering with Final Gather um, in Mental Rain. Now, I know there's a lot online about this, and most of you probably know about this, um, but there aren't any video tutorials, so I thought I'd just do a quick, short, simple uh, tutorial on what we can do to solve this. Now I should say that this only works um, in scenes that are static and don't have any objects or characters as such animating so it's fine with camera animation but it doesn't work with any uh, object animation so just to be aware of that okay so we've got a quick simple scene here I've got three spheres um, and a skylight in a box in a cube should I say and we've got final gather working and what we can see within the render uh, is that we've got some splotches on the wall and some uh, just some generally not very nice areas now, because Final Gather works on a per frame basis, um, it rebuilds its Final Gather map every frame, which means that on each frame it may shoot all of its rays out and feed back some different data to the camera, which means that you will get uh, a different type of shadow on each scene, which is why you'll get flickering. So we need to address that, and the way to do that is to create a Final Gather map. So if we just come into the render globals, I've already got Final Gather switched on. We'll just take our accuracy up to a thousand and we'll just do another quick render and we'll look at the difference. So if you've got the time and you've got the power you can uh, set your accuracy to fire so many rays out that it really won't matter. Um, what's going on in your scene you'll get a fairly good feedback but it's just not going to work in production you, your, your render time is going to be really really slow and um, we've just gone from a 4 second render to a 16 second render and we're only rendering a really small 640 uh, by 480 size um, and there's nothing in the scene in terms of complexity so if we had a HD full 1080p um, render and we're doing the interior um, of a hotel or something like that loads of textures loads of polygons you're looking at an hour if you if you've got sort of 5,000 points flying out there so this will address it okay so we've got final gather on and I'm fairly happy with this result for this tutorial so you can see that we've got rebuild set on uh, which is what I was talking about just now you need to click this enable map visualizer now this is going to create a map that Final Gather is going to look at uh, to generate the render. So I'm just going to type um, my map FG in here, and we're just going to do another quick render and have a look at what happens in the scene. So there we go, that's all of our final gather rays. Now you can see that Maya's created a, uh, a whole bunch of points based on the frame of our camera, which is exactly what we want. So if we move the camera, we can see that there's nothing else around this area. So we can clearly see that the camera is what shoots the rays out of it. And it's a really good way to see that and to understand how it works. Um, so those rays bounce around and they find illumination. I should say that this sort of portal I've got up here is just a blin applied to a plane um, with its incandescence turned up and uh, its ambient turned up also. So what we need to do now is that's great. We've got our map generated in this area. Now if we were to do another render on a different frame now with rebuild set to on these points would go and a whole new bunch of points would turn up in its place and we don't want that because that's the problem we're having anyway so we need to switch this map to off which means that it's not going to um, rebuild it's going to add to um, so we'll just go to our last frame and hit render again And what we should get is a, a whole bunch of points from this side of the room firing out over all of these areas with this still intact. And then we've basically built our map. 
you see it already at this angle for some reason this is uh, taking a little while and if, uh, if that was on a much bigger render it's just kind of useless in production anyway There we go. There we are. Okay, so we've got a render from that end, and we can see that we've, our points have built up here on the floor. Not so easy to see around there because there's sort of a bit of fall off, but it is there. If we just move our camera around and have a look, we can see. You can see the direction that our camera was looking. They're overlapping. It doesn't matter. It's not a problem. It's absolutely fine. You can see that from behind the sphere we haven't got anything but why would we need it? Because the camera doesn't look behind the sphere. Okay, that's great. So what I would do now, I'm not going to hit off a render but I'm going to show you the process. Um, this map, before you set off a batch render or however you render, we need to switch to freeze that is when you're finished going around and creating all of your points you may well have a camera fly through or a 360 turn around within a room and when you're happy with the results in your render switch the rebuild to freeze and let's have a look how quickly it renders wow two seconds that's a two second render this is why I didn't want to pause the video when we were uh, firing out all the rays in the other renders, just so you could get an understanding of how quickly you can speed up your renders. That's quite a powerful thing. You won't get any flicker. In this case, two second renders. So if you wanted to add to the map again, if you wasn't happy, we'll just turn it back to off again. Also, if you're uh, doing this in another scene, um, make sure that your uh, map is called something different because you don't want to overwrite a map from a different scene. So, guys, I hope that's helped. Um, if you've got any questions, just uh, leave a comment or drop me an email. Cheers. Thank you very much. Bye.